So uh, I think we conceptualized Taran about four or five years ago and it started very small. We said that, look, Bangalore is becoming the running capital of the country and what can we as I am the community, how can we take part in that? And the best part to do was to organize a small run on campus itself. And we said that, well, this is a run where students will take part and other community members of IM Bangalore, faculty, their children, the staff, all of us will take part. And when we were discussing about the name and how we should uh, you know, run this event, we said, let us also bring in the alumni. Uh, we organized that event and it was a huge success. And that made us realize that this is a wonderful event to actually make connections to the alumni. And you will notice that all over the world, whenever running events are held, uh, they are also connected to some noble cause. So we said that from next year onwards, when we will organize Toran, we will also try to link it to raising some funds for the needy. And that's how I think Taran has evolved over the last four or five years. Uh, we see tremendous amount of enthusiasm about uh, this event in, in, on campus. There is great participation from the alumni. And every year we have been able to support more than one noble cause. So this year Taran is no exception. I would uh, invite every student, every faculty member, their families, and most importantly the entire alumni to come and take part in large numbers. Uh, as a principle, we have said that Taran will be a free event in terms of in that there will be no registration fees, but there is a cause for uh, ability to donate. And so I will encourage every participant to donate something to Taran because the entire proceeds of this will be used to support an old age home called Omashram. Yes, so, uh, you know, fitness is, people are realizing uh, that fitness is one aspect which we become very negligent as we go along. Uh, when we have serious work to do, when we have serious studies to do, then fitness becomes something of very low importance. So we want to revive that. We want to make sure that every student, um, you know, picks up a regimen where he or she remains very fit and they develop it as a habit as, we go, as they go along become professionals in their lives. So that's the reason why we also bring the alumni here, we also bring the faculty members here. So this is an event where we are not really running to win, we are not really running for our timing, but we will be happy if we can get people who have never moved before starts walking as part of Taran. People who have never run before but only walked starts running as part of Taran. And it doesn't matter you know, how much time you take to finish because you know, we will be cheering for everybody and the course will also remain open as long as people want it to be. So it is, it is our effort to bring everybody together on that day morning uh, so that we can have lots of fun and eventually it becomes a habit in people's lifestyle. So as I was telling you, uh, Taran has really grown in the last few years and uh, what has happened, uh, you know, this was about a couple of years ago, that alumni from other cities came and said that, well, we might not be able to travel to Bangalore on 2nd of October, but we would like to organize an event ourselves as an IMB alumni event in different cities. And so during the last few years, we have seen a lot of enthusiasm from faculty in other cities also to organize Taran in their own specific way. And this year is not going to be any exception. We are, as of now, talking about organizing runs under the larger umbrella of Taran in different cities in India as well as worldwide. So we are talking of maybe Bombay, Delhi, Hyderabad, Chennai and in some places in the United States. So this is almost becoming a movement and I think this will very nicely fit into this whole enthusiasm about running and fitness that we are seeing especially in India now.